Shout out to one, shout out to y'all. Night to the Wilderness, man. Godzilla, back with another video, right? So, this gonna be a quick Ecclesiasticus chapter two study, man. We gonna get straight into it, right? So, verse one of chapter two, saying, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, right? It says, set, and then next, saying, set thy heart aright, and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. So if we going back over time, um, the first chapter, right? You know, the first verse, I mean, it said, if you come to serve the Lord, you have to prepare your soul for temptation, right? And we were just speaking about this like in a previous video, all right? As soon as you turn your mind and your heart and your soul to the most high, you see what I'm saying? <clears throat> That's when you're gonna start to get tempted. Because in previous times, it wasn't really much of a temptation. Because when you're already living a life with the world, you're living a life of evil, you get what I'm saying? It doesn't really take much testing and tempting because you've already, you're already walking according to the ways of the world. You get what I'm saying? Um, just like that one verse where it says, um, in previous times, you walked according to the ways of the prince of the air, right? But in these times, when you change and turn your mind to the king, see, I was shot. You know what I'm saying? When you start looking towards this word, when you start trying to find your hour, you get what I'm saying? That's when the temptation comes because that's when you're going against the grain of the world. You see what I'm saying? That's when you're actually walking opposite, you know what I'm saying, to what the rest of the world is doing. So you're going to have to, you're going to be the one trying to get pulled back into everything. That's when, you know? So you go to tech two. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. You get what I'm saying? So you have to set your heart all right. You get what I'm saying? Uh, gird your loins. You know what I mean? Make sure that for one, you're doing everything in purity of your heart. You know what I'm saying? With pure intentions towards the most high, which is going to naturally have you doing everything with pure intentions towards your brother and everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Which is ultimately what they say fulfills the law, right? Um, loving your neighbor as you love yourself. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> making not haste in time of trouble. You get what I'm saying? Because what, what we don't understand sometimes is we might know a lot of what's going on and stuff, but it's not the most high that's rushing us. You get what I'm saying? The most high is going to instill you. You know what I'm saying? He's going to keep you complacent. Not complacent. Not complacent. I don't want to say that. He's going to keep you still enough for you to think. You know what I'm saying? Give you time to think things through in order to inquire of him. You know what I'm saying? To get the proper advice and wisdom. Right. I'm going on, it says, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. And whoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and patient and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Right. So it says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take thee cheerfully. Right. <clears throat> and be patient when you're charged to a low estate. So what is this saying? Right. Whatever is brought up on you, take it with joy. The good, the bad, anything. You get what I'm saying? Because that's the way that you're actually enduring. That's how you actually endure. You're not going to endure by having a bad reaction to bad things all the time. You get what I'm saying? And you're not going to endure by only seeking happiness and joy and, and all that. You get what I'm saying? Because that's not accepting life in its totality, especially on this path that we're supposed to be living um, as the righteous, right? So... That's why it also says, and um, I forget the, the verse where it's like, uh, you know, take joy in long suffering. You know what I'm saying? Take joy in these things because that's what work of patience, right? So when all these things are happening, you're just being tried. It's all to build you up. You know what I'm saying? It's all to build you up. So when you're brought, like how it says, when you're charged to a low estate, when you're changed to a low estate, meaning you, you might not be in the best situation, you might not have you know, everything going on for yourself. You might be fighting certain battles and all that, but take it with glee, take it cheerfully. You get what I'm saying? And be patient because these are the things that work patience. You know what I'm saying? Take it cheerfully when you're charged to a lower state. You got what I'm saying? Under have faith in the most high that he's gonna bring you back to that highest state. See, the thing is, if you was never brought to that lowest state, you would never be able to truly um, appreciate when you're in that higher state, right? So we 
the most high does certain things when he tries us so we can really have true appreciation for the things that we're getting right so we're gonna keep it going and it's saying for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity right and that's real important y'all that's real important for you to understand right so it says gold is tried in the fire so what is gold being compared to gold is being compared to acceptable men and this is acceptable to the most high you know what i'm saying so when you start going on this path the first one is already saying prepare your soul for temptation the temptation and all these things we go through is the adversity right but you understand the more you win the more you lose all of these battles and your, your ups and downs, all of it, is all you going through the furnace of adversity. The whole point, most high shaping you into gold. You get what I'm saying? When you get that 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 nice, fine gold nugget, you know what I'm saying? And it's worth thousands and millions of dollars, right? And everybody values it and everybody can see the value in it. That gold had to get beaten down. That gold had to go through thousands of degrees of fire in a furnace. A furnace ain't no regular oven. You see what I'm saying? So that's what we are being compared to, acceptable men in adversity. So take your adversities with glee. You know what I'm saying? Take it cheerfully, right? <clears throat> it says, believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way aright and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside lest ye fall, right? So it's saying, right, this is all what we're saying is working patience, right? Because the Most High doesn't move on anybody else's time, but his. He's always on time. He always has the perfect timing. You get what I'm saying? So we might think that we need something to get done right now. Or we might think that we've been going through this too long or we've been dealing with this too long. But you don't never know what you're being shaped for. That's why we have to constantly be, first of all, we have to constantly be maintaining that faith that he never left you. You get what I'm saying? That's why it's saying he won't depart from you, right? So, next, we're going to say, <clears throat> it says, Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fear. fail. Ye that fe fear the Lord, hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Right? So hope for these things, right? Hope for these things and have faith. See, faith is the, the um, action behind belief. It's not about just believing, right? Faith is the action behind belief. So when when you hoping in something and you're waiting on something, because it's easy to hope when you're first getting into this, right? But when you're getting tried, when you're getting tried through that furnace, it's hard to kind of maintain that, but that's all the most high sin. All the most high seeing is whether you're gonna endure. That's why you see all throughout the scriptures is telling you to endure. You get what I'm saying? Because once once something is thrown in the furnace, it's not thrown in the furnace for five seconds, you take it out. No, it has to really come under that heat. It really gotta endure that heat. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> Next one. It says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any that trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Right? And that's the importance, y'all. That's the importance of y'all getting into the scriptures. You know, looking through the tribulations of Yahweh Shah, looking through the tribulations of all the prophets before him, right? And it's the same with the prophets of this day, you know what I'm saying? Um, we know that Christ was... We, we know the tribulations of Christ. We know um, crucifixion. We know um, constant scrutiny from his own people. We know um, direct temptations from the enemy himself, from Satan, right? We know what he had to go through. And all through this, maintaining his righteousness, staying upright and setting his heart aright, right? And now, look, he, he's the king of kings. He's the king of kings. You see what I'm saying? And he was charged to that highest state after being brought to that lowest state, right? You get what I'm saying? Because it was mockery when he was um, on that tree. You know what I'm saying? They they mocking him. Oh, this is the king of the Jews and whatnot. You know what I mean? That was his furnace of adversity. You know what I'm saying? But enduring, enduring. So when we see Christ coming back this time, we're going to see that highest state that he's in as a king, right? All right. 
Now, nextly, nobody that was calling on the Lord, nobody was call, that was calling on the Most High has ever been forsaken, bro. Dude, that's why you're not supposed to fear through any of these things we go through. Because man, man cannot touch his anointing, bro. You get what I'm saying? Unless it's for that purpose, to, which is only going to liberate us more. You get what I'm saying? That's the whole point of all of this. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> so having, being studied, being well studied, you get what I'm saying? And understanding what the prophets before yourself has went through and the, uh, all the men of the Most High and what they all had to go through. You know what I'm saying? You're no different. You're no different. Your journey might be a little different, but the outcome won't be any different. You know what I'm saying? That's why you set your heart around. All right? Take all these things upon you cheerfully. You get what I'm saying? And you'll be liberated at that end time. You get what I'm saying? So we're going to keep it going. And it says, For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, Long suffering, very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in time of affliction. Right? So when 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 we get to these lowest states, right? And sometimes your heart might not always be a right. Sometimes we get that's when we start to lose faith. Because when you come into the knowledge of truth, um, it doesn't really take other people scrutinizing you anymore. A lot of times you become your worst enemy. You already are your worst enemy, but you get, you begin to scrutinize yourself and you start to cast damnation on yourself. You know what I'm saying? When you're in that lowest state, but that's when you're supposed to hope the most. That's why the scriptures tell you when you're weak, that's when you're the strongest. It says the most high is near to the brokenhearted. So that's why you have to listen. This is the nature of the most high. It says he's full of compassion and mercy and long suffering and very pitiful and forgive of sins. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm saying it's not so much more about the carnal things that are getting done on this earth because the, the most high can seek it through the depths of the heart. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but it goes on to say, woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goes to his two ways. And woe unto him that is faint hearted for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. That's why once again, going back up to that that uh, first or second verse where it's saying, set your heart right, gird your loins. You know what I'm saying? You have to be strong and steady in this. No matter what you're going through, be constant. Be constant in doctrine. Be constant in your faith. No matter what's going on around you, what's going on within you, be constant. You know what I'm saying? Be still. Be not fearful. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're fearful... And everything you can be switched this way and you think oh maybe this might not happen or, and maybe the these are the same people <clears throat> that are going to go through this time of tribulation that we're going through in this time and st start saying oh maybe christ has delayed his coming right because they faint-hearted you know what i'm saying their, their heart is swaying with the wind you know what i'm saying there's going to be a lot of storms that pass through this time right we're going to go down some more and it says woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? Damn, and it's crazy. I was just talking about when Yahweh shot comes back and people gonna be saying um he delayed his coming, right? You know what I'm saying? So what are you gonna do when the Lord shall visit you after you done already lost patience? See, you went through, you see, you have to understand those who have the knowledge already are in a more uh, a more sensitive spot, I guess you would say. And those who don't, right? Because we know the servant that knows more and still goes against it gets more lashings, right? So how do you think the Lord is going to visit you when you basically gave up? You know what I'm saying? Because it's never the tribulation. It's not just what you're going through. Like, you're going to get wounded, bro. And it's a battle, bro. You get wounded, you get scars, bro. It's not what you're going through. It's how you go about it. It's what you do after the battle. Because the Most High is ensuring that you're surviving this battle every time. You know what I'm saying? So... How are you going to approach it? Are you going to give up? Are you faint-hearted? Are you weak of spirit? Right? And it says, They that feel the fear of the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love in him will keep his ways. You know what I'm saying? And they, they that fear the Lord will seek that it, which is well-pleasing to him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. And they that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight, saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. 
For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. Right? That's why I'm telling y'all, man. Be constant. Be consistent. Be dedicated. You know what I'm saying? Keep that faith in the most high. You know, pray that you're being kept. You're being kept in that strong. You know what I'm saying? He that dwelleth in the secret, um, in the shadow of the most high. Uh, I forgot how it went. But, I mean, you'll stay in the shadow of the almighty, man. That's all it's about, bro. You know what I mean? Mm. <clears throat> Another important thing it says right here is humbling your soul and sight. Don't get, don't start getting haughty. Don't start getting high-minded. You know what I'm saying? The, the Lord loves humility and meekness. And these are all things that the Ruach brings us. You get what I'm saying? So we got to constantly just stay in that spirit. Holy Spirit will not guide y'all wrong. All right? And we're going to continue um, in Ecclesiastic. Is, um, we're going to continue talking about wisdom and all those things and whatnot. This is just um, part one. Try and have like more studies like this and whatnot. Um, but we're going to end it right there, man. All praises to Yahweh, man. And y'all be blessed. Stay prayed up.